This is Nate with Dude in the Garage. We're working on an easy go golf cart today. So the splines on these hubs strip out. So the, the axle's actually splined and then the hub fits over those splines. But what happens is those splines wear off of there and then the axle can slip inside, just like you just seen. So we're gonna fix that today and I'm gonna show you how. All right, so here is the new hub. It actually has a brake drum made into it. And if you look down in here, those are the splines that I was talking about. And those are what wear out because this is cast iron and it is softer than the steel shaft. So it causes these to wear completely off. So let's get it changed out. All right, so I've got the jack underneath of the axle and that's gonna be a very secure place. You don't want this falling off of here. And so I'm gonna tighten the jack up and I'm just gonna raise that wheel off the ground, like so. All right, the jack handle up because you don't want it laying flat so someone can trip over it. Don't want that to happen. Then, we're gonna grab our 19 millimeter. 19 millimeter impact sock, our impact gun. We're gonna go ahead and zip this wheel off here. Now the wheel is free. And here's that old hub and drum. And as you can see, it's not supposed to spin on there like that. This is actually completely worn through. So we'll take this pin out, take this castle nut off, and we're gonna pull this whole thing free. These splines are actually full of metal. So I'm taking a wire brush, and if you zoom in on here, now watch the splines. Look at that, that is just metal. So I'm gonna clean all that dust out of there. Also you get these little picks from uh, Harbor Freight. It's like 99 cents for four of them, but it helps you get in here in these little grooves. And you see that just kind of flaking that metal out of there? I'm gonna make sure you get all this out of here, because if not, those new grooves aren't gonna sit in there. And you're gonna just have the same problem all over again. All right guys, so actually these are shims. Uh, and it allows you to shim the, the hub off of the, the, uh, the splines here, just enough so that it clears the brake shoes. So it turns out I just need the smaller one of the two. There's a thicker one in this and a thinner one. So I just need the smaller one, but then you set the hub on here. You can actually stick your finger in this hole and feel where the shoes are at. And I have enough clearance there. Now you'll put your, your washer back on and then you have your castle nut. Pin in there. Okay. And tab over. And that hub is, is replaced. So we're gonna put the wheel back on and uh, that will be it. to it, easy peasy lemon squeezy. This is a pretty common issue on these easy goes from 82 all the way to current. So this is gonna take care of it for you. Cart's ready to go, get you back on that course or hanging out with your friends. And that's all for today. So remember, like the video, subscribe and comment and smash that bell if you wanna see some more content and more golf cart videos. So we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.